Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to do a first impressions on my gorgeous Chanel Coco handle. If you wanna see what I think about this bag, stick around. Okay, so before we get started, let me show you my bag of the week. What do you know? It's my Coco handle. So I've carried it every single day because I knew that I wanted to do a first impressions on this bag. So I have a lot to say about it. So this has been my bag of the week every single day since I got it. I am loving it. But before we do that, I wanted to say, check out my gorgeous Raleigh necklace by Jill Maurer. I have it stacked here with my diamond eternity necklace that I've had for years but it's such a beautiful necklace. So I have been linking Jill's website in my description box, you guys. This would be the most fabulous Christmas present for anyone. If you're looking for a present, this would be great for a guy or a girl, and she has other styles, and then also larger necklaces made very similar. There's a Taurus, and there's just all kinds of stuff. You guys gotta check out her website. I wear this necklace almost every other day. It's a great layering necklace. It's great alone, and I just wanted to say, check out Jill's website, and also Yota15 for 15% off. I think I forgot to list that last time. Yota15 is my discount code. So also, I feel like Pink Butterfly Girl. <laughs> Hey girl, if you're watching, she always does housekeeping and I really like that because she always has on fabulous outfits and last week she had the cutest outfit on and I think I'm going to order one. It was like a little loungewear set and she said she was going to go back and get more colors and she always has great makeup and I love that she shares with us what she's wearing. So what I'm wearing is, well, I'm just wearing a just an exercise outfit, just a tank and some leggings. But around the house, I do tend to wear my Barefoot Dream sweater. I don't save them to go out. I just wear them around the house because they're so cozy. And I'm gonna link this one. It's one of the most favorite ones I've ever had. I got it from Saks Fifth. This would be a fantastic Christmas present as well. And, oh, and my Louis Vuitton earring, loving these. I just love them. If you buy the gold ones and you buy the silver or the palladium ones, then I switch them out. Sometimes I wear a gold and a silver, like my Fendi earrings. So it's like, I told Keith, it's really pretty cheap because it's like I got three pair of earrings for the price of two. So yeah, that's the way I think about it. <laughs> I'm always, I'm always coming up with a rational reason for the things that I do, okay? <laughs> okay, so let's get into my first impressions on my gorgeous Coco handle. All right. My very first impression of this bag was, wow, where have you been all my life? This bag is a pre-loved bag. And I had many of you to ask me where I got it and what group that I got it. And I got it from a friend and subscriber of mine, Dr. Fatima Hina. She, she rotates her bags a lot and she doesn't, she's not a seller, but she does tend to sell bags. And I put in first dibs, you guys, so you'll have to get a line. <laughs> for her future bags that she sells. But she's also a part of the same group that I'm in, and it's the Chanel Addicted Ritzy group. And there are so many fabulous luxury, you know, sellers in that group. And I'm going to be doing a video soon about this topic and give you guys some information. So that, that should be coming out uh, on Saturday, uh, a week from today. And I just, you know, this bag is immaculate. It looks like it came off the shelf. And she told me this is just like a brand new bag. And it really is. There is nothing wrong with this bag. Look at it. Okay. You know, at first I thought that I wanted a small cocoa handle. And I wouldn't turn one down. But, whoop. <laughs> but... This is a perfect size for an everyday bag. If you want to get cost per wear use out of a cocoa handle bag, it's not too big, but I highly, highly recommend 
a medium size. I do think the small is really dressy and really nice for an evening night out, but who gets to do that anymore, right? <laughs> so this bag, like I told you guys in my reveal, in my unboxing video, I got up that morning, I, you know, I looked on Facebook, there was the bag, and I'm familiar with Dr. Fatima, and as I said, she is a friend of mine, and I trust her, and when I saw she was selling this bag, I didn't think twice, I sent her a message, and I said, I'll take it, and hands down, one of the best decisions I've made all year, you guys. I just think the medium cocoa handle is a fabulous everyday bag, but other than that, I've been carrying it all week, and I have to tell you guys, it is a very user-friendly bag. It's roomy. It's not very heavy at all. Now, I have a lot of things in this bag, and I could easily put more, but it also has this back pocket where if I'm shopping, I tend to slip my phone in the back pocket. I can carry it in the crook of the arms. I can carry it with my hand and I can wear the shoulder strap, and I've done all of the above. But other than just, wow, what a fabulous bag, and where have you been all my life, I cannot get over what a user-friendly bag that it is. And you guys know that I'm all about comfort, you know, a casual vibe. I'm not really a dressy person. You know, it's rare that I get all dressed up. But this bag, like, if I went to the store right now and what I'm wearing is nothing but low yoga pants, a tank, and a sweater, ah, bam, it goes with it. I mean, it goes with everything. And also, this color is absolutely fabulous. It is the most beautiful navy color, and I consider this a neutral because really it goes with everything. And then, of course, this handle, it gives it, just gives it a pop of, I don't know, excitement. And I just, oh, I just love it so much, you guys. But I, like I said, I carried it all week. I did not change out the bag, and I think I'm going to carry it again. I always change my bags out every Sunday. It's just this ritual that I do, unless it's raining or, you know, some other reason. But normally, I just carry my bags for a week, and then I switch out on Sunday. It's just my thing. But... I'm carrying this bag another week because I can't put it away. And I'm going to tell you guys, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys that I love my Birkin, but for the price difference, I mean, I do love my Birkin, but I love this bag too. I can't say that I love the Birkin anymore. I mean, the Birkin you know, was my holy grail bag, and I almost bought a cocoa handle when we were in Ireland, and instead I bought the Capucines, and you guys, I haven't been using those bags. I'm going to have to admit, I love them, but it's mainly because it rains here all the time. Every time I get out my Capucines, I look out the window, it's raining, and I'm like, okay, so I've put it up. So, but this bag just seems more durable. I mean, it's, it's that caviar leather and it just seems so much more durable. I feel like, you know, if I got a little bit of rain on it, I wouldn't have a stroke, <laughs> but, um, it's just, this is, this bag is everything, everything. Okay. So like I was saying, being the casual person that I am, this really does suit my lifestyle. I think this is one of those bags that I am going to carry year after year after year and thoroughly enjoy this bag and it will look this way forever and it's just a great bag. But I want to show you what all I have inside of it because it holds so much. One of the things that I just really can't stand to do is have to decide what to take out of my bag. Like I, I need my sunnies, but they don't really fit, so I have to leave them in the car. I can't bring my reading glasses. You know, when you have a really small bag, you have to really pick and choose what you're going to carry. But with this bag, everything fits inside that I need to carry, and I can even put more inside of this bag. And like I said, it's really not that heavy. I mean, it has a little weight to it, but it doesn't bother me. I've just always been used to heavy bags or bigger bags, so I wouldn't call it a heavy bag. 
but it is a it is definitely you can feel the weight on it but for me it's not really a con and also it's very easy to open because it just has the little turn lock and I love that and I also love the fact that I can take this strap off if I want to and I thought about getting a really thick gold chain that would really dress it up I mean I think this is really pretty but I think that it would be pretty with a really thick gold chain kind of a you know brushed gold like this I don't know just for something a bit different so I'm gonna show you what all I have in this bag okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what all is in this bag what all I've been putting in it I can't even really remember all the things that's in it because like I said I've been carrying it for a week so okay so okay so let's do this I still can't believe I'm the proud owner of a Chanel Coco handle <laughs> It never gets old, you guys. It never gets old. Okay, so here's the way it looks on the inside right now. And you can see that there's still space. Like, I could put something here and back here. I mean, there's still a lot of space in this bag. I mean, I could fill it to the brim, but I'll show you what all is in it. Okay, so... My phone, my iPhone 10 is in this bag. Oh, look, I got a text from, guess who, Miss Beckman. I'll answer her later. So my iPhone 10, uh, I just have my checkbook. Um, okay, I have this rather large phone charger. I really like this and I'll link it below because you don't have to have a cord. Like you just plug it in the wall like that. And then it has a side for a, another kind of, it, it has two different sides and this one is for the iPhone just to stick in the phone. And I'm telling you, this is great. I've really enjoyed this. I think I'm going to get one for my grandson for Christmas. This would be a really good Christmas really good Christmas gift. Okay, so this, I have my reading glasses. These are peepers. You guys, I love them. People ask me all the time. These are called peepers. I will link them below. Really like these. I have this pair and I also have a animal print pair. So I have these and they come in this soft case. I have my Sunnies, and it's my Celine <laughs> Sunnies inside my Louis Vuitton soft case because the case to these Celines are huge. I love these. These are one of my favorites, and these are the tortoise shell. I seriously am thinking about getting just the black ones. These are the ones that they called the Kim K Sunnies. I love them. Okay, so I have those. Okay. I have this bag that Lisa of Lisa Loves Bags sent me. It's it was a little set. It was this one and a smaller one, and I use these all the time, Lisa. Thank you. I, I just love it, and I always think of Lisa. So I use it. Um, really, it just is a catch-all. It's got some lippies in it. Oh, it's got my Hermes lippy in there, a pencil, a band-aid, and some gas medicine <laughs> bam bam I had I had to do it I'm dying for another I'm dying for another Hermes lippy but I'm trying to be good <laughs> okay and then I have my Louis Vuitton toiletry 15 I use it all the time what's in it oh it's a catch-all too it's got a mask and one of my lovely friends and subscribers sent this to me. Thank you so much. I have some lip gloss, another lip pencil, and some nail flippers. That's all that's in there. Okay. I have, well, okay. So this is what I'm using as a wallet these days. My Louis Vuitton card case. And it has this pocket on the back. And then it has... It's got this zippy part here. I've got a few extra cards in there. One, two, three, four. I could put more in here. Five, six, seven. 
<laughs> seven cards, but I love this. I love this so much. And again, Lisa got this for me and had it shipped to me. Lisa, you're awesome. All right, and then this is, I always use this YSL card case, um, and I just keep my driver's license in it and my insurance and my car insurance. So I just always keep those in this uh, card case. There's nothing in the middle, but I could put more. So really as a wallet, I'm using kind of a combination thing, but I don't really reach for this because it's just in there. It just has my important information. And I love this, you guys. It's really hard to go back to a regular full-size wallet because I have a Louis Vuitton Zippy and I'm never gonna get rid of it. But I wonder if I'll ever use it again, you know? But I'm gonna hang on to it. But I probably will buy, I'm thinking a Chanel compact wallet this year. But I'm loving using this little wallet or card holder. Let's see what else is in there. Um, oh, let's see. Oh, okay. So I have my Louis Vuitton, um, Coin purse, love this little thing. This is one of the, my favorite purchases from Louis Vuitton. I'm so glad that I have it. And I just use it for coins. Oh, and then I've got a bunch of cash and a check because I had a, I sold some stuff. I sold some art and had a paint party, bam. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I just stuck it in there because I was gonna put it in the bank. So, I mean, it's just a lot of stuff that fit inside this bag. And as you can see, it's this very roomy front part, okay? And then this part right here is where I just had my cash. And then this part right here is where I had my Louis Vuitton card case. And then there's a big pocket in the back that I put my YSL card case in. And when I'm shopping, like I said, I normally just put my phone for easy access right there in that back pocket. Every bag should have a back pocket. You know what, if I were to design a handbag, I'd probably design one just like this. I probably would, because I can't think of anything else that you need. Okay, the only, the only con, and I wouldn't even call it a con, just a tiny bit of a disappointment, but not really a disappointment, just, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but the chain is kind of small. Wouldn't it be fabulous if the chain were a little more substantial? I don't know, that's just me. But it's nice and it's it's lightweight. Maybe that's the reasoning behind it. I just thought it would look kind of cool with a, that's why I'm gonna try to find like a gold brushed um, chain to go with it, just to use occasionally. So I'm not calling it a con. What am I talking about here? <laughs> if I have to find a con, I guess that would be it. It's really hard to find a con on this bag. Oh goodness, okay. So, that's my first impressions on my medium cocoa handle. I love it. I would love to have one in every color. Keith, if you're watching. <laughs> This is my Christmas gift from Keith, and it came early. I'm, I, you guys, I must have been a really good girl this year. <laughs> you know what? What he doesn't know won't hurt him, right? Okay. So I was really excited, and he was like, you can have it now or you can wait. I mean, there's no way. There is no way I could wait, what, six weeks for Christmas? No way. So this is my first Christmas gift, and I'm so happy. I love it so much. And I'm very thankful. I purchased it from a very special friend, Dr. Fatima, and I know you're watching. I, I love, it has brought me so much joy. I love it and I know I'll carry it for years. Okay, so my first impressions is just wow. If I had to lump it all up in one word, wow. <laughs> That's what I have to say about this bag. And I'm thinking about doing a, I mean, it does remind me of the Capucines 
on some level. So I'm thinking about doing a comparisons with my Capucines bag and this medium cocoa handle. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. And I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to paint. I had a lot of suggestions for my Christmas giveaway. I'm super excited. I've got it narrowed down to a few. If you have any other suggestions, just drop it in the comment box. And really guys, that's all I have for you this week and I'll be back again next week. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.